Hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm a sophomore at Millard South. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas! And this is what I'm told. When I said I was Catholic, the anxiety crept in. Worried that people would assume that I'm okay with the oppression of women in this world, that I'm okay with slut shaming happening throughout my own classrooms, that I'm okay with the hurtful words being spewed from the mouths of shame listeners. I'm not sure who painted this picture of pain and labeled it Catholic. Catholicism, noun. A belief practiced by Mennonists, homophobes, and Republicans. Synonyms, hate and white power. This misconception is spread over Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. People telling me my faith is something that it's not. A guy in the sky saying, be good or die. But soon, these words penetrated my ivory innocence, and I fell into a euphoria of deep velvet corruption. The liquid lies running down my throat, stained like blood on a silk blinky. My being scorned as though my soul cried release. My brain steaming, screaming, screeching, not breathing. It was the fall of Rome. It was your favorite character jumping off of a bridge. It was the finale of How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> I had fallen flat after finally overcoming the snap. The shame shook into something new. I had abused the fragile doll that I had been given and all hope of absolution was lost. Grace being overtaken by grotesque ideals, cynics crept in and battles began. God speaking of restoration and them screaming of repression. It overtook what I knew, and the shameless sinners continued to spew venom that trickled through my wounds and down my spine until I slurped their words as a replacement for my lack of scripture, forcing my life to be a lie and my dignity to be deprived. Spurts of subtle nectar grazed my tongue every once in a while, and one day I decided to dance down the flowing river. When I peer into the eyes of the golden host, I don't feel the bars being warped around my wrists. I feel the calluses on the finger. I feel the acceleration of my heartbeat. Tick, tick, to thump, thump, to pound, pound, my heart overflowing with a warmth so surreal. It has to be an illusion, right? The sick psychology of the brainwash I've succumbed to since the beginning. Born into the cult of Catholicism, right? But once again, the rain runs out of my pores and I'm caressed by those oh so familiar hands and I hear the sniffles, sniffle. Sniffle, sniffle, they come in waves of their own, and they appear in offbeats. But oh, they create a symphony of release and renewed perceptions. The sniffle shows that our sins don't define the ability of our souls to sing. Our mistakes make us miracles, created by someone so selfless, who was willing to sacrifice himself. The realization that people with God can be and should be people of life, and love, and liberty, is a realization that faith is freedom not fear.